saving your images for web. This is probably the most important thing that you need to do going forward before you upload any images to your website or to your blog, you need to have them saved, specifically websized. Reason being is the larger your images are, the longer your site takes to load. The longer your site takes to load, the more your clients are clicking away, going to the next site. So here we have my full size image already pulled in Photoshop and for just random images on the website and blog, I normally size mine to 1500 on the long side, which then puts the height, I believe, at about 1000. So here I have my full size image. The first thing I'm going to go in, I'm going to go to image, image size. And you can see that it is 5400 by 36 and 300 dpi. So I'm going to change this to 1500 and I am going to make sure that this says by cubic. I am going to hit OK. So now we have changed it to 1500 pixels. If you do command one, it brings it to full size in Photoshop. Now that we've resized it quite a bit, we've probably lost a little bit of sharpness. So control J will duplicate the layer. On the new layer, you're gonna go to filter, sharpen edges. And you see how that basically just kind of went up and sharpened everything. I personally think it's a little too sharp, so I normally take it down to about 75%. Okay, so now that we have those, we can go to image layer or layer and flatten. So now we have the file, the size that we want it, sharpened just how we want it. So now we're going to go to File, Export, Save for Web. If we were to save our file without going into Save for Web, it's going to save it for us at 1500, 300 DPI, blah, blah, blah. So when we go into the Save for Web, we can see here that the original image was 4.29. The image that we are going to save down here is 697. Now that's still too big. In a perfect world, we want these to be at 200 or less, or as close as we can get. So we're going to go up here and we're going to, it says JPEG and it says maximum right here. So we're going to mess with the quality. Normally it ends up being around 50%. And you can see it didn't do much to my image. It's maybe a smidge noticeable, so I couldn't, I'll probably go up a little bit. And you can see as I'm changing this, down here in the corner, you can see where the size of my file is. So we went from four megabytes down to 200. So I'll go this a little, take this a little down just to we'll leave it there. So it's at 182. So not much noticeable difference between the top two. Now we're going to save and let's just save it to the desktop wherever you want to save it hit save now that file is saved we don't have to worry about we don't want to keep any changes to this file because this was our original file so we're going to click out of here do you want to save no we don't 
And that's how you save your files for web.